We're going to get a little bit into the mechanics of DSLRs in explaining the mirror lockup function. Now inside of every DSLR is a mirror. Well, at least at the moment, there are mirrors inside of our cameras. When we look through the viewfinder, we're actually seeing basically what's reflecting off of this mirror as it is through the lens that's attached. So whatever lens is attached, we see a reflection of whatever the mirror is seeing through the lens. And that's what we're seeing inside of our viewfinder. When we depress this shutter release button, basically the mirror flips up and underneath is where the actual shutter is. The shutter will open to expose the image to whatever our lens is seeing. Now the process of basically pressing on the shutter with the mirror flipping up and then down does create a tiny, tiny bit of vibration inside of the camera. This vibration really doesn't matter at all when you're hand holding because, I mean, it's not going to make any bit of difference in comparison to, say, the motion shake off of your hands uh, and everything else. So it doesn't make any difference when we're shooting uh, with our hands. But when you place this thing onto a tripod, that movement in the mirror will reduce the quality of the image just a tiny, tiny bit. Not too much, but just a little bit. So in order to basically get the sharpest quality image possible, cameras have a feature known as a mirror lockup. What that does is once you have the camera on a tripod, and I would only recommend doing this on a tripod, you'd enable the mirror lockup feature. Once the mirror lockup feature is enabled, as soon as you press the shutter, the mirror is going to flip up and it's going to stay up. Now, once you basically fully depress the shutter at any time, just the shutter itself or the shutter release, just the shutter itself is going to open to expose the sensor underneath with the image. This means that there will be absolutely no vibration because after the shutter closes, that's when the mirror is going to flip back down. The mirror lockup feature is wonderful to use when you are shooting landscape images because it'll make sure that the images are absolutely perfectly sharp, or at least you're not going to introduce any additional vibration caused by the mirror as it flips up and down. This is something that's great to use in bracketed HDR sequences when you are using a tripod. Set it onto your tripod, turn mirror lockup on with the auto exposure bracketing uh, feature turned on. You're going to flip through and shoot basically your shots with the mirror flipped up the entire time. Now again, like we discussed in the previous video, with the HDR mode turned on on the 5D Mark III, with mirror lockup, it is actually going to take all the shots for you. But with, say, the 5D Mark III or even a 5D Mark II with the HDR mode turned off and auto exposure bracketing turned on, with the mirror lockup feature turned on as well, you do have to depress the shutter six times. So if you're going to do it that way, you do need to have a shutter release because you don't want to press this six times as you will certainly cause some sort of camera shake, which basically eliminates the whole purpose of using the mirror lockup in the first place and using a tripod in the first place. So, so either you have to use an HDR mode, which is going to control everything with mirror lockup, or when you're using mirror lockup, you do need to use a shutter release. It's all going to depend on your camera's make and model and how it functions with auto exposure bracketing and the mirror lockup feature enabled. Either way, using the mirror lockup feature in your camera is going to yield slightly sharper results when you have your camera up on a tripod. To enable the mirror lockup on your specific camera, once again, we recommend that you turn to your manual. If you did happen to throw it away, then just go online and download a new one, a digital one that does not destroy trees.